Um, so uh, really excited to be here. Uh, appreciate uh, uh, the opportunity to speak today. Um, we uh, have about a 45 minute uh, time slot here and we are going to jam on some content. So I'm excited to give you a hands-on overview of Terminus. Um, we're going to be walk, talking about connected account experiences, how our customers are connecting with their customers and prospects in, in a whole new way with uh, the Terminus ABM platform. So um, let's let's dive in here. Uh, and my screen is seems to there we go. Perfect. Um, so I'm going to give you a quick harbor cruise of Terminus, uh, the most robust ABM platform out there on the market. And uh, today we're going to walk you through kind of left to right um, uh, the way our the, the, our product architecture, and then I'm going to walk through some slides and some demos and show you exactly how Terminus works and how our customers are using Terminus to connect with their clients. Um, so it starts with our CDP. So Terminus has a customer data platform that aggregates all of your first party and our third party data and brings it together into our, into our Terminus data studio or our account hub. That account hub connects into your CRM, your marketing automation, all of your first party data and allows you to create dynamic segments or lists of customers or accounts that you wanna go after. These could be top of funnel accounts. These could be uh, a list of customer accounts you want to expand into. It could be industry or vertical related. Those segments are then pushed into the channels. We call them ad experiences, chat experiences, email and web experiences. And I'm going to show you all of those today and how our customers are actually creating campaigns to engage with their target accounts. And then we measure everything, first touch, last touch, multi-touch attribution, both digital and revenue attribution with Measurement Studio. So I'll, I'll walk you through that as well. So let's start with the data. So at Terminus, we help our customers aggregate and connect all of their account data. We want all of the data that you have your Salesforce, your Office 365 or G Suite data. We hook into sales lofts and outreach, and I'll talk about how we integrate into those systems a little bit later, as well as uh, third-party data. So tools like Bombora and G2 Crowd to pull in for intent. Um, and that all comes into our B2B account graph. That account graph is what resolves uh, an account with a, a website visitor or with a, a targeted ad. So it is what allows us to uh, decide this account is assigned to these devices and these IP addresses to uh, target and to match uh, the accounts that are on your website and alert the sales reps, hey, it's time to go do something for these accounts. So let me talk to you about some examples of how clients are using Data Studio and the data inside of the Terminus platform to target uh, their clients with ads, with email signature banners, with personalized chat conversations, and with personalized web experiences. The first example is Dow Jones. Dow Jones is using Terminus to target top of funnel accounts that are signaling intent. And so you can see uh, the ads that they run to their target account lists. Um, clients like Prophecy are targeting clients who are coming to the website who are showing interest in specific products to see a prophecy in action and get a demo. Uh, customers like Uberflip are targeting op open opportunities with banners like this. Uh, we also have some cool examples of clients like Bluecore, which is a software company out of New York that are targeting their uh, account lists for brand new customers. So we know that ABM is about acquiring new customers and building pipeline, but it's also about creating great experiences. So once that account becomes a client, what's the journey they go on? And so clients are using our platform for customer retention campaigns, customer expansion campaigns like Sock Telemed. Sock Telemed is a multi-product business. They sell infectious disease, neurology, psychology, cardiology, all the different uh, medical uh, 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 areas that they call on and they have the telemedicine solutions. So they're expanding from one, they land one, one group and then expand into many others. So let me go ahead and just pop into the product and show you how this works. 
and it looks like my screen sharing just got paused. Don't know why. How do I resume sharing? So uh, I'm sharing my screen now. And uh, let me stop sharing and I will reshare my desktop. And that way you guys can see it. Now you can see my screen, perfect. All right, so um, let's pop into the Terminus Data Studio. So Data Studio is where we aggregate all of this data. And we talked about the data before, but here's some examples of things that we call engagement spikes. This is first party engagement when these accounts like JP Morgan or Citigroup or US Bank Corp are coming to your website and looking at high value pages. Like in these examples, uh, a supply chain management page or an ERP and finance page. We also aggregate all the ad data. So are they clicking? All the ad impressions, who's coming to your website? Are they signaling intent? What intent topics are they searching on? What's their propensity and relationship score based on all their engagement with your first party assets, your website, uh, your emails, the chat conversations that are happening. You'll hear me today talk a lot about first party data. Uh, third party data is going away with cookies going away. It's gonna be harder and harder to get third party data. Uh, and then you see things like your Salesforce campaign responses, uh, as well as pipeline and opportunity data. So this is your CRM data, your ads data, your website data, all this data aggregated together. And our customers then filter or segment this data down to targeted lists. So I'm going to look at all of my tier one, tier two, and tier three accounts. Uh, I'm going to check out, uh, let me clear this up. And then as you can see, I've got three criteria here. And then I'm going to look at all my opportunities. Uh, let's see here is the Salesforce stage. Let's pick anything except for close one and close loss. So my, my, my pipeline primarily. Um, and then I'm also going to target accounts that have been on my website. So I want people that have been on my website and then uh, you know maybe some folks that are also surging on intent. So I've got you know some uh, quite a bit of filters here. In fact, let me just uh, pick 90 days and apply. And now you can see a, a smaller list of accounts, uh, seven. So a really targeted list of accounts. And I can take that list and now I can save it and I can activate this list along with all the other lists that I'm running. So I can have demand gen lists. You can see there's thousands of accounts in these lists, maybe a few hundred. I've got my pipeline acceleration lists. I've even got one-to-one -one campaigns. So I've got one-to-one -one personalized experiences going against my big accounts like BMW or CVS, the whales. So now that I've built my uh, account lists in Data Studio, I want to then activate this in the channels. And you can see the wide spectrum of channels that Terminus offers. Display, retargeting, LinkedIn, chat, web, email. And I'm going to start with uh, how our customers are using ad experiences. So whether it's display ads across the open web, retargeting people who come to your website, global ads, running ads in EMEA, APAC, and across the world, LinkedIn ads, we sync all our, our data into LinkedIn and customers like Alicadia are personalizing LinkedIn ads or contextual. Even premium inventory. And I'm really gonna give you some great examples of clients that are running connected TV and audio ads here as we walk through examples. So let me give you some examples and I'm gonna show you how to create these ads. So here's an example of Beckman Coulter. Beckman Coulter serves uh, their life sciences business that sells chemistry and biology, to, sells to chemists and biologists inside of pharma and inside of academia. If you're a chemist or biologist and you see an ad like this for Duraclone dry antibody flow symmetry kits, would that catch your attention? It would. And because these buyers are working from home, I'm working from home, you're working from home. I haven't been in my office today. First time I've been in the office in months. Uh, but uh, I'm mostly working from home. And so we're able to reach the buyer where they are uh, with ads like this. Bizarre Voice is retargeting uh, those who come to the website uh, back with ads with ones like this to check out their ratings and reviews tools. Gainsight, which is a software company, is cross-selling and upselling their customers on LinkedIn. Terminus is a customer of Gainsight. We use customer CX or Gainsight CX. They're targeting me for ads for Gainsight PX. I'm the product chief product officer. They want me to buy their product uh, for product experience. And then it gets really cool with 
with, with, with uh, audio ads. So do you have Spotify or Pandora or Apple, Pop, Apple on your phone or maybe on your television? I bet you do. And for those of you that do, now we can reach the buyer while they're listening to music or listening to podcasts with audio ads. And what makes Spotify and Pandora different from LinkedIn and Facebook is they are not walled gardens. We can reach the same inventory that we've been on for maybe CNN or Washington Post or Financial Times, that same inventory is available, the, the Spotify and, and Pandora ad inventory is available to us. And so now we can run ads like this for our client Blackline. So imagine if you're driving in your car and you're a CFO and you hear an ad like this. Are you closing your books the same as last year? Manual accounting processes take too long, cost too much, and create unnecessary risk. Blackline helps more than 3,000 companies close better, faster, and with more control. Learn more at blackline.com. You want to talk about creating brand awareness. Uh, these campaigns are now available to Terminus customers to reach the buyer where they are on the open web with retargeting ads and now with premium audio with all of the apps that you see here. And I would bet that your prospects and clients all have these apps on their phone and on their television. Speaking of television, Terminus also supports connected TV. So the, the, the Amazon Fire or the Apple TV that you're running in your house it's just like a phone device. And the apps that are on your TV put their inventory on the same marketplace. So we have clients like Extra Hop that are running ads like this. Do I have any hobbies? Oh, you bet I do. I think it's so important to have something that's just for me. You know, I collect things, dolls, stamps, state secrets, social security numbers, those are good too. But ExtraHop has this network detection and response platform that's really been raining on our parade lately. We think everything's fine, and then bam! ExtraHop cannot be outsmarted. So these are some of the amazing customers that are using Terminus for our advertising experiences. So I'm going to pop over into the advertising experiences platform and show you how they do it. So I'm here on the homepage where we aggregate your LinkedIn display, retargeting, and global ads all on one view. You can see your total spend, your aggregate spend, your CPMs, everything's transparent and open. What campaigns are driving the most clicks? What creative is running the most effective out there on the open web or on LinkedIn? And you can see all of that here in one unified view on the homepage. We also have dashboards, reports. Uh, the main, one of the things that's really cool by, about our ad experiences is we tell you which accounts that we're running ads for are showing up on your website and what are they doing on your website? So are they filling out forms? Are they watching videos? Are they human traffic? Are they bot traffic? You can see all this data here and you can see by account. You can see by account their ad impressions as well as their website traffic. So are the ads working? So that's one cool thing about ad experiences is all this data is aggregated for you in one place. Not only that, but across all of your tactics, you can see exactly which ones are performing the best over time. So are my LinkedIn ads performing better than my web ads or my retargeting ads performing better? What creative performs best? And guys, it is so easy to create a campaign in Terminus. All you have to do is go through this wizard and walk through a process of selecting that account list. So one of those account lists that I built in Data Studio. Uh, so you saw me build that segment there. And now I can grab the account list from, uh, let's just say I'll pick, uh, let's pick uh, strategic big bets. So these are my big whales and uh, I'll pick all accounts and look at these accounts. So I got all these accounts that I'm gonna go after and uh, I'm gonna then from there decide how I'm gonna target them. Do I wanna target everyone in IT? Uh, maybe I sell IT products and I wanna reach people who are IT buyers. I only wanna reach senior decision makers. And if I can't find those people, do I wanna expand to the whole company? No, I don't. So I can choose these kinds of things. I can pick my budget. Let's just say I have a you know, $100 budget every day, thousand totally uh, throughout the course of time. And I'm gonna run to the end of the month and uh, there we go. I can pick my, my creative. There's my ad library. And you can see I'm, I pull up, uh, these, these are actually HTML5 ads. These are dynamic. That's what the five stands for in our interface. So people can upload all different kinds of content, uh, animated content, 
dynamic content, you name it, it's all supported uh, with Terminus ad experiences. So uh, next we're gonna pop into a few other products here. Um, I'm gonna walk you through them real fast, just in the spirit of time, and then we'll open it up for Q and A. Um, so one of the untapped channels is email because ABM is all about sales and marketing alignment. When you run your ads against those target account lists, I would bet your SDRs and account executives are emailing the same target accounts with cold call emails. Those emails could go off of G Suite, they could go off of Office 365, maybe they go off of Sales Loft or Outreach or some tool like that. Well, we integrate with all of them. And we insert personalized email signatures, banners that are dynamic and unique for every single email sent. Here's some examples. Fortinet is sending, uh, they literally have 2,000 employees running our banners across the world, 13 different uh, countries, multiple languages, everything's personalized and dynamic. Dow Jones runs Terminus across three business units. So the different business units run different campaigns because the account executives are calling on different kinds of customers and selling different products. And then, uh, you know, the, the Gong, uh, Gong is an amazing client. All their employees run, run Terminus. Uh, email experiences. And what's cool is this uh, technology collects first party data. So if you run email experiences and somebody opens one of those emails, we collect the IP and the domain. That's it. No POII. We don't read the subject lines, can't get the bodies, none of that information, just the IP and domain come back to that account graph that I showed you in the beginning. And that improves your visitor identification. It improves your ad targeting. In fact, clients that run ad experiences along with email experiences, see a 25% increase in match rates because we're using their first party data because it's the target accounts they're going after anyway and email are the same target accounts they're going after in ads. So let me pop over to the app and I'm just gonna quickly show you email experiences. Um, and uh, it's kind of near and dear to my heart. Is, I, I love email experiences, this is my favorite product. Um, so you can see all the campaigns I've got running. Uh, I've got campaigns running for Instagram. This is an internal campaign. I've got campaigns for upcoming webinars, uh, all different kinds of, of campaigns that are running inside of, of our, our instance here at Terminus. Creating campaigns are so easy. You can create internal banners. So on an email, Ricky, who's one of my colleagues, he sees something different. Again, because we know the domain, every single email banner is targeted and personalized. So it's a really simple wizard to walk through a three-step process. You pick your account list, you add your email banner, and then you verify that it looks good and boom, you're off and you're sending, uh, your, your employees are sending emails and the banners are always changing dynamically. Um, it comes with out of the box reports, very uh, simple signature management. It's, uh, it, it, it's, it's a really useful tool. Uh, we've got a lot of clients that love it. Um, next, I'm going to talk about web experiences. So all the ads, all the email signature banners, what are they doing? They're driving the customer to the website. When they come to the website, we identify who they are. What do we want to do? Provide a personalized web experience. Banners, popovers, fly-ins, all integrated into Google and Adobe Analytics. So customers like of ours like Unibabble or Perk or Sharpen are using it to pop in uh, a little band, like little banners or flyovers, or even embed the personalization inside the HTML in your website, in your CSS, in your code. So that way images and copy and text can all be dynamic. And again, all of it integrates directly into Google and into Adobe. So you can see how web experiences is impacting your website traffic and your overall engagement with those target accounts. And then one of my favorite things is chat. I mean, if you don't run chat on your website, you probably should consider it. It is by far and away our fastest growing product. And what makes us different is that we have chat from anywhere. You can chat from your website, chat from an email, chat from a sales proposal. I can chat from my phone. Our customers that run chat with ads and email are seeing a significant increase in the ROI because it's all a coordinated and connected account experience. Um, it's got uh, Office 365 and G Suite integrations. So customers like CRM Next or Trip Actions or Science Logic, they are creating personalized bot experiences. They are routing leads to the right sales reps. They are booking meetings uh, right here with the automatic calendar book uh, meeting uh, booker and, and meeting that with the booking the meeting with the right person. And then uh, you see uh, when customers come to your website, we can route them to the right customer success or support resources as well. 
So with that, I'm gonna show you a really live example, a uh, pretty cool example here of how this works. So Ricky is on the phone and Ricky, uh, I'm gonna use you as a guinea pig if that's okay. Ricky, you out there? Sounds good, I'm ready. All right, so uh, Ricky works for Terminus. So uh, look, the banner changed. Are you following Terminus on Instagram? This is an internal banner targeting Terminus employees. Now, if I were to, you know, let's just say, uh, pick something like this, boom, the banner, oh, that's a term that's going to change this here, sorry. Uh, let's uh, pick this one here. Uh, let's uh, do this, try Henry. There, Zoom info. See, I'm emailing Henry at Zoom. I've got a personalized banner. There's Zoom info. There's a call to action for Zoom info. If you're Zoom info and you see this banner, you're going to be interested in it and you're probably going to click. Let me go ahead and I am going to email Ricky and I'm gonna send him a test email. Notice this chat with me link that's in here. So uh, Ricky, I'm gonna send you this email. I'll go to my sent items. There it is. And look, you should see, it should look like this. So when you get that email, Ricky, let me know. Let me know what the banner looks like and do me a favor and click on chat with me if you can. And, uh, Maybe let everybody know when you got that email. Just got it right now. Perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and click chat with me. Okay, and uh, you should see an interface pop up like a landing page, correct? That's correct. Oh, there's Terminus Software. There you are. Are you out in California? Yes, I am. All right, we've identified you. And uh, you might, they, it might ask you to put in your email address so we don't like, if we just get disconnected. But if you could like click chat with Brian Wade, I think that's one of the options. Uh, yes. Perfect. Let me know when you see that, because again, you got to enter your email address and it's got to validate a little bit of your data and confirm who you are. It's part of our chat bot, uh, kind of functioning as design. But let me know when uh, it, it pulls up the interface to chat with Brian. Yeah, it looks like it's actually uh, asking me to just schedule time with you right now. So how, how about this? I'm just going to join the chat. Uh, and I'm going to say, hey, Ricky. And can you chat me back? What, uh, maybe you just say, hey, Brian. There it is. All right. So we've identified your location, where you work. You're in our sales force. Uh, you're not. You're not. You're. You're with Terminus. So you know it's obviously something where uh, uh, we don't have you in our outreach or Pardot cadences. But very likely, if you were a target account, you would have been in those cadences. Setting up one of these chat conversations and chat bots is so easy inside of Terminus. So you can see the revenue influence, qualified chats, target accounts that are conducting chat conversations, all the chat an analytics. And then if I want to set up, uh, you know, one of these uh, chat bots, I can come in here and I can set up a playbook. So playbooks are both a visual and a linear bot builder. So I've got a greeting, I've got name capture because I want to capture their email address. Then I'm going to engage and route the chat to the right person. But the cool thing is, is you can see this complex chat bot. And when you build these complex chat bots, you don't want to drop the conversation. You want to make sure they all end in something positive. Maybe you're going to sign them up for something. They're going to book a meeting, all those things. So I can come in here and I can add a variety of plays here. So from a targeting perspective, um, I can target you uh, in the chat bot itself. Let me go back to the playbooks here and I'll pick, yeah, let me pick this one. Um, and uh, uh, you can see I've got this greeting. Um, and I can add, I can add all these different, you know, concluding plays, routing, uh, just the, the kinds of things you can do inside the chat bot uh, are, are, are really, really amazing. So we've got a lot of customers that are seeing a ton of success uh, with, with our chat and, uh, and Terminus chat. So uh, with that, I'm going to pop back over and we're going to wrap up with uh, a few more things. And I'm going to show you the last, last piece here. So Guys, it wouldn't be ABM if your sales team didn't know what was going on. So with our account insights and our weekly sales emails and our Salesforce reports and dashboards, you can see everything that's happening in Terminus and Salesforce. Your account executives don't actually log into Terminus. They just experience Terminus. They experience the emails, they experience the insights, and it makes them more effective. And then as a marketer, this is the last piece and kind of the most important piece. We help you measure ROI. If you can't measure it, it doesn't happen. And you can see some of the great clients across the bottom that are using our measurement studio. 
It has first touch and last touch attribution, scorecards, insights, dashboards. Let me go ahead and pop into Measurement Studio, and then we'll open it up for Q&A. So this is the most trafficked page in our application. More customers come here to this page than any other page because it tells them how many accounts I'm targeting, who's engaged, what's my win rate, what's my deal velocity, how much pipeline am I creating in my target accounts. Everybody wants to know, are you creating pipeline and are you creating that or converting that pipeline to revenue? And we can tell you just that. So here's an example of what we call our trending scorecard. So you can see these different account lists, the retail account list, the manufacturing account list, and exactly in this case, how much pipeline is generating. Or maybe you can look at revenue or deal velocity or deal size. You can slice and dice the data in so many ways. Underneath these scorecards and dashboards are reports, add insights reports, marketing influence, campaign analytics, I'll just pop in quickly to the Ad Insights and give you a, snip, a snapshot of how this works. So if you're spending money with Terminus, let's say you spend $14,000 in, in ads, what's that going to get for you? How much pipeline does it influence? How much revenue does it influence? How many people came to your website because they saw an ad? Well, all that is available here. You can slice it, dice it, see which accounts are actually converting from the ads that you're, that you're uh, uh, running. And then just like with Salesforce, every single report can be made into a dashboard tile. So our clients will create dozens of these dashboards, all linking to the most important reports. So you can filter the reports down using data, and then you can save these reports off into dashboard tiles and come back to them over and over and over again. Guys, that's Terminus in a nutshell. Open it up for q and I'm gonna unmute everybody here on the line. And uh, Cesar, Stephanie, do you have any questions? Uh, I don't have any questions. This was really great. I think my favorite part was um, the examples that you showed with uh, the ads on the, the podcast platforms and the, um, the, the TV platforms. Um, do you have any like do you have like a favorite success story from, from uh, any of those campaigns that you've seen? Well, uh, we do have a, a client who uh, is a huge Salesforce partner. Ooh. So for Dreamforce, it was virtual, but they still did a sponsorship and they sponsored Dreamforce sessions. And so they took half their customers and held them out and took half their customers and ran a connected TV to them to register for their Dreamforce sessions. Um, and uh, they saw a 30% increase in registrations for the ones who saw the connected TV ad uh, versus those who were not served that ad. Mm -hmm. So we know that when you layer on multiple touch points and multiple engagements, you, you're, you're going to see business results. Um, it's a more of a direct response, kind of a medium. Uh, in, in, in the audio, you can click on the audio ad. On the oh. TV, on the TV, you can't click. So it's it's got to be a clear call to action to go to some domain. Uh, we did have one client do an SMS mobile response campaign, um, so you could text in uh, to a short code. They capture your email address, and then you know you get you get contacted. So there's lots of cool little examples like that. Yeah, that's awesome. Well, that was going to be my next question. Was like for, for the TV ads, what's the you know what's the action step that people can take? So it sounds like. Uh, you'd have to drive them to maybe a specific landing page or, you know, tell them to take a step uh, an action that they'd have to go um, take on their own. So that's, and, and that, that's like, I've seen that I've seen ads um, on my, basically my smart TV where they've, you can interact with it, like where you can click on something on the ad oh, and then yeah. it, but um, it was a little weird. <laughs> QR codes are becoming more popular, obviously, yeah. uh, as from the Super Bowl. That was pretty crazy. But yep. um, but yeah, I mean, when you're when you're on a connected device, um, uh, there's a lot you can do. Yeah. Cool. Thanks so much. This was great. Awesome. Well, everybody, thank you so much. Any other questions from the audience here? No, yeah, I just want to say I love the simplicity of setting up the ads um and the straightforwardness um are there like an, any additional features as far as like settings that you can get more in depth with or is it just kind of the 
Oh yeah. I just showed you the high level of hardware <laughs> crews. I mean, the amount of granular spend behind spend in front of frequency capping, you know, those are all settings on the back end that you work with us to set up um, as a part of your digital media plan. Uh, Cause we want to make sure you spend your money properly. Um, you can set things like, um, you know, contextual keywords. If you want to do that, you can set up things like Day, daytime parting, all, all that's kind of on the uh, uh, on the administrative interface. Um, you do that once, and then that business process workflow. You just you know you can create as many ads as you want in that workflow. Got it. Awesome. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for your time, and I appreciate the engagement. And uh, look forward to uh, any follow ups. You guys have my information, Brian. Brian Wade at Terminus. Hit me up. Thank you. Thank you.